This program is brought to you by the Wisconsin Automotive Museum, showcasing transportation history. Visit us on the web at wisconsinautomuseum.com. Hello everyone and welcome to the show. I'm your host and museum educator, Justin Agar Pratt. At the Wisconsin Automotive Museum, our mission is to showcase transportation history. And since you can't come to the museum right now, we're bringing the museum to you. The goal of these videos is to continue to carry out our mission through a variety of content and bring a little something for everyone to the table. Episodes may include activities, crafts, historic presentations, and more. We're continuing to explore new ways to stay connected with our community. As stated before, our museum's mission is to showcase transportation history. And while cars are the most prevalent form of transportation, both inside and outside of our museum's walls, we can't forget about the roads on which they travel. And it just so happens that Wisconsin was a pioneer in this regard. In fact, the nations of the world owe their modern highway numbering systems to our state. If you visited the museum, you've probably seen these posts spread throughout the first four exhibits. These signpost reproductions are not merely decoration. These route markers would either be on a singular post or on telephone or electric poles. The inverted triangle is still part of today's highway sign signs in Wisconsin. It all started in the early 1900s, as interest in cars and a desire for better roadways grew not only in Wisconsin, but all across the United States. A 1908 amendment to our state constitution led the way to the formation of the State Highway Commission in 1911. Between 1911 and 1917, Wisconsin trails started being marked as roads. The first was the Lake to River Road, stretching from Milwaukee to La Crosse. Here's the problem. At this time, anyone could mark a road. Car clubs, tire companies, oil companies, and tourist associations could post signs on any randomly chosen route. Sometimes these routes would veer far from the best and most direct path in order to pass through a city which paid a fee to have the marked route run through the center of town. In 1917, the official state trunk highway system was established. From this point forward, it was no longer legal to post a trail in Wisconsin without approval from the state. By the end of 1917, a system of 5,000 miles of numbered state highways were laid to paper. In May of 1918, signs were posted on the highways and Wisconsin became the first in the world with a signed system of route numbered highways. Michigan was the first outside of Wisconsin to adopt this model. And since then, every state in the U.S. and almost every country around the world has laid out similar systems of numbered highways. The State Highway Fund was set up in 1925, and for the start of 1926 fiscal year, the state had generated $15.2 million in transportation revenue through fuel tax, vehicle registration, and a small amount of federal aid. Here's a copy of the 1925 official highway map of Wisconsin. Notice the phrase in the lower right hand corner. It's harder to get lost in Wisconsin than to find the way in many states. Upon closer inspection, you'll notice from this map that many of the routes are relatively unchanged. During the Great Depression, many roads were built as part of the New Deal. By the mid-1940s, Wisconsin's state highway system had grown to about 12,000 miles, and in the 1950s, the interstate highway era began. In 1967, the Wisconsin Department of Transportation was created. I mentioned road signs a little bit ago. You've no doubt seen the variety of signs on our state's highway systems, but did you know each type of roadway has a designated sign? Let's see how many you can identify. First up, what does this signify? If you said interstate highways, you're correct. Wisconsin has five primary interstate routes and three auxiliary interstate routes. Our state's oldest interstate highways are I-90 and I-94, both designated in 1956. Okay, how about this sign? If you said U.S. highways, that's correct. Nearly 10 years after we set up our highway system in Wisconsin, the federal government caught up and formed the National Route System. 
Today we have 14 U.S. highways in Wisconsin, most of which date back to the beginning of this system in 1926. What type of road does this sign indicate? Yup, state trunk highways. This is what put our state on the map. Road map, that is. And here's a bit of trivia. All state trunk highways are numbered 10 and up. There are no single digit highways. Finally, which type of roadway would you see this sign on? Yes, we have county trunk highways. Each county maintains its own highway system and these routes are designated by letters rather than numbers. The length can be one, two, or three letters. The county highway system began in 1921. How do counties choose the letters and what do they mean? Well, there are some creative examples throughout our state. For example, the county trunk highway along the line between Kenosha and Racine counties is County Trunk Highway KR. So there you have it. The modern highway system is another example in Wisconsin's history of the state living up to its motto, forward. Videos will be uploaded to our YouTube channel every Wednesday. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. We'll also share these videos to our Facebook page. You can find us at Wisconsin Auto Museum. Along with what can be found at the museum, information for this episode was sourced from wisconsindot.gov as well as wisconsinhighways.org. I realized in preparation for this episode that I neglected to cite last week's sources. Information for that episode was sourced from nhtsa.dot.gov, carfax.com, and advanceautoparts.com. And here's a bit more trivia on the VIN that our director Dawn shared with me. Years ago, people didn't want a car made on a Monday or a Friday as they thought some of the regular workers might be having a long weekend and therefore the quality would be lower on vehicles made on those days. All part of the information found on your car's VIN. Well, thanks for tuning in and be sure to check out new videos loaded every Wednesday to our YouTube channel and Facebook page. Bye now.